Good morning, everyone. We are building. My name is Felina, and I am the Cedar Chest Sims on Tumblr. I create creative content and speed builds. So today I was playing around with an idea that I saw on another channel of a pass through like into the backyard and I liked the idea but then I thought oh you know I don't have a lot of space on this lot so I tried something different I thought I was going to make a two sided entry um and that's what I did here this keeping in the the tile count um this was going to be a micro home and then I just decided to go for the 32 tile count and make it a micro home and I wanted it to be for a single man who is working and living by himself. I managed to fit in a bathroom with a shower, sink, and toilet, a bedroom. Now, the bedroom is a tight space, but so is the kitchen living area. The kitchen takes up the whole entire north wall there. And um, just getting everything to kind of lay right was kind of a challenge. As you can see, I made the outside of the house blue and then once I started decorating the inside, I realized that didn't kind of fit with the theme I was going for. Um, I was going for a man who watches motorcraft on the weekends. He doesn't own a car, but he really likes hot rods. He wants to own a car. Yeah, here we are. We're trying to figure out this bathroom. This bathroom, these bathrooms in these tiny homes are a nightmare. Now, I know that someone came up with like a, a two-tile uh, bathroom using the university shower and the sink downsized next to the toilet and apparently it works but I didn't want to do that I didn't want it to look clustered um, and the bathroom is really a stark contrast to the rest of the living area so this is the bedroom and and I have a little bit of a, a time toiling out how the bathroom is gonna play out and I realized quickly even though I wanted to put a bathtub in that it wasn't going to be sound in this sort of four tile bathroom so I just kind of went for the tiny living sink. I sized it down. I moved the toilet. I have not play tested this bathroom, um, but it is on the gallery. So if it doesn't work, there's always room to put in the university shower and kind of spread things a little bit. Um, there's no room for a closet. I love making closets. Um, so I had to just kind of improvise with a hanging bar above the bed with clothes and then this little nightstand, a speaker. I thought, I want them to have entertainment and in a tiny home it's hard to find things that bring up the fun value uh <laughs> yeah red carpet in your house so i'm i'm just trying to add accent pieces here because it's very hard with no space and the best thing to use in decoration is kind of the floor this wall i decided to box in the bedroom because i thought i want to give our sim kind of some autonomy to sleep and the door you know opens there but I also thought, gosh, when I was a kid, I had a TV in my bedroom. So I put in this little um, table that matches his nightstand and I set a little TV screen on it. it. It's not usable. You can't lay in bed and watch TV. I think in The Sims 2 you could, but not in Sims 4. <laughs> so that TV is there just completely for decoration. Um, I'm putting up some paintings, which will actually go away near the end of the video because I put in windows. I did this build with no windows. I kind of realized that after the fact. Windows and me are not friends. Windows are kind of an afterthought. The kitchen. I am using actually like patio um, equipment here. It's got kind of tile. It looks very garage-like. I wanted that sort of um, motorcraft feel like a Ford mechanics garage because the motorcraft letters are all red and white and black. Um, and I was trying to work out an island here to sit at and work at. And then I thought I'm putting too much in the kitchen. Um, the sink, the small counter, and actually I take that small counter out and move the fridge in to make a living space. Cause I thought, Oh, where am I going to put something for him to do like TV or video games? As you can see, I'm like playing with chair placements and I just, I didn't like the chairs. So I, I chose a love seat that kind of matched my red and black theme we've got going on and black furniture. A lot of the tiny living furniture is amazing because it fits on one square. So that was really nice. And as you can see, I moved that island and that seat over to the far side of the kitchen. And then when I started putting up uh, upper cabinets, 
I pulled it out. I, I have BB move objects on and I pulled it out. So you can either put a laptop there that can be where he eats. Um, there's also a picnic table outside. So, or there will be, see, here's where I was like, Oh, the outside's blue. I got to make the outside red, uh, to match the overall happy. I went with a tin roof because this man feels to me like he, he wants simple. He doesn't want to have to re-roof his house every year. He wants something as, you know, he's willing to put in more money to kind of see better results. So the interior of the house is pretty much decorated. I am working on the outside now. I am getting stuff together. I wanted this to be a very green space because he doesn't seem like a gardener to me. Usually I put gardening stuff out if it's a single woman or there are daughters in the household or even an older man because I, I know my grandfather liked gardening. Um, here's where I take those paintings out and I put in windows. I really had to play with what I was doing with windows because this is a micro home. And I was like, I need windows, stat. Um, I've been playing with a lot of greenery. I love hanging greenery, but it's just, it was impossible to do. I had a little problem here with how things were working out and aligning. And even with BB Move Objects on, it just wasn't flittering through. And as you can see, I made those initial flowers red. I think I changed them to white because it just looks a lot better. Yeah, the hanging plants, I definitely changed to white. I played with a hedge, but then I thought it blocked off the cute patio. I love these island living ground plants. The first ones I laid down there, they're beautiful and they work well. You can see I kind of figured out I was blocking the sidewalk. Put in some guardrail, handrails for the stairs. And then I thought, I've got two paths to stairs on either side of this porch. I'm going to fill it more, more island living plants because island living just had the best, I don't know, they have the best ground cover plants. And I really just adore them. Um, I love this mailbox, that country mailbox too, but it just didn't fit the theme. This is a single modern man who likes cars. I wanted something a little more modern, a little more um, nice. But as you can see, this little center part's a little overgrown. Like, he, he doesn't mow that. It probably needs a weed whacker taken to it. <laughs> He's having too much fun. Some decorative rocks and some terrain paint. Um... And when I got to about here, I was realizing that he didn't have a lot of fun uh, objects in the house. He has a TV. He has a stereo. I still wanted him to have outdoor activities. And I'm thinking of a single man. And so that's really hard to find him outdoor activities. I wish there was like an outdoor weight bench. There probably is in one of the packs, but I don't have it. I don't have all the packs. Um, so I put in a basketball hoop, kind of made a like a micro court, added some park benches so that you could sit and watch or wait your turn during a game of horse. Um, I really wanted it to be nice. I did give him a bicycle over there because I said he didn't have a car. He needs to get to and from. He uses his bike. And we are putting in a picnic area because that's beautiful. And that's actually it. We did pretty good here. I'm very proud of this build. Um, and I hope you enjoy it too. And come back and see us on the Cedar Chess Sims. You get, oh, there, it's on the gallery. You can download it. Woohoo! I'm not restarting this over. <laughs> Thanks, guys.